teachers who are not only experts in their fields, but who are also kind and compassionate and who care deeply about the holistic well-being of their students. Beyond their work in preparing lessons and helping students achieve academic success, our teachers spend countless hours building relationships with students to mentor them and guide them as they navigate high school. Sadly, as we come to the close of the 2022 to 23 school year, we must say goodbye to four of our amazing high school teachers. As a Concordia Baccalaureate tradition, our departing teachers will read our reflective passages as we celebrate the joy and hope we have as a Concordia community in sending off our graduates. At this time, I'd like to invite the following teachers to join me on stage. Ms. Naima Baysmore, Ms. Darlene Coupet, Ms. Angela Steinbacher, and Dr. Jennifer Rizzo. Part of our tradition of baccalaureate, we would like to recognize our gratitude to God and the many blessings he's given us. Um, there's a responsive passage in your bulletins. I will read part of the passage, and I would like you to respond with, we give thanks. Please follow along. Today we give thanks and rejoice for the persistence and discipline that has led us to the co completion of academic work. We are thankful for the gifts of our minds and energy, which are gifts from above and that bring us to celebrate this day. We give thanks for knowledge gained through observation, research, experimentation, through trial and error until discovery enlightens the path. For those thoughts and concepts that lead to mending of relationships between nations, peoples, and social groups. For sciences that help us understand ourselves and the environment in which we live, and then free us to be good stewards of universal resources for the wholeness and benefit of humanity. For words enriched with meaning to enhance communication, for understanding of forces shaping our past, gained through history, literature, philosophy, and classical arts that give us sight to understand the present and the future. For artistic training that has power to move the heart as well as the mind. For educators who give their lives to help others learn to overcome physical, emotional, economic, and societal limitations. Enrich all that has been learned by these graduates, and may their learning be the seed that will bear fruit in their living, not simply for their gain, but for the benefit of all people. As they have worked to gain knowledge, may each of us discipline ourselves to seek wisdom from beyond ourselves, May we be reminded to seek first the kingdom so that all else might be given unto us. Yes. Grant that our convictions might be built on courage to question rather than on fear of new truths. Give us confidence in the revelation of our maker through study, history, and our hope that motivates us to grasp understanding of all human illumination. Yes. I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all of your heart. Jeremiah 29, 11.
Ah. So, seniors listen very carefully because now we are going to bring back a tradition that we haven't done in some time, and so I need you to listen to your instructions very carefully. So, as you can see, in a moment, um, our teachers are going to dismiss you row by row, and I'm going to ask our seniors to line up in a long line across the front of the stage, facing the stage, and our teachers are going to give you each a candle. And then we're going to ask our student body president, Yo-Yo, to come on stage and light her candle at this candle here. And this represents taking all you have gotten from Concordia, all the wonderful things, all the light and the love and the memories, and taking it from Concordia and reflecting on it for just a few moments here today. So Yo-Yo is going to come, and she's going to light the candles of all of you. And as you stand here with lit candles, you will reflect on the wonderful things that Concordia has given you as we listen to our final songs from both our choir and our orchestra. Please begin, Lenny.
have some lights for the orchestra. Seniors, would you please blow out your candle and return to your seats? It's important the order you do that in. Blow out your candle first. Please, return to your seats. Go on, go on. One of the wonderful traditions we have at Concordia High School is that twice a week we are able to gather together as an entire high school community, first at the beginning of the week at Monday's assemblies, and then at the end of the week at Friday announcements. And today, as we sit here in this room together, it is officially the last time that all four classes from the 2022 2023 school year will be together. It's been an absolutely phenomenal year at Concordia High School, and these students in this room continue to make this a great school. Students from the classes of 2023, 2024, 25, and 26 have represented the values of our school to be insightful learners, effective communicators, reflective spiritual beings, active global citizens, and principle-centered leaders and team members. 
I speak for the entire faculty and staff when I say it has been a pleasure to serve these students at Concordia. You, the students, make this school incredible. You define us as an institution with kindness, with wearing love, encouraging others, and giving hope to all of us. Let's have a round of applause for our high school student body. We take a moment to celebrate each of our classes. Will the freshman class please stand? If you're a freshman, please stand up. Yeah, they're, oh, they're in the back. Freshmen, congratulations on a wonderful first year in high school at Concordia. Even though you're new to the high school, you've already begun to leave your mark as freshmen in our high school. Please give our freshman class a round of applause. <laughs> freshmen, you may be seated. Would the sophomores please stand up? Would all the sophomores stand up? Oh, the sophomores are all around, okay. Sophomores, thank you for all you've done. We have seen you grow as learners and members of the community, and we look so forward to the great things that you will continue to offer this school for the next two years until you're sitting up front as seniors. Let's give our sophomore class a round of applause. <laughs> Sophomores, you may be seated. Juniors, would you please stand up? Well, juniors, your leadership is appreciated. And as of about 24 hours from now, you will be the oldest members of the Concordia student body. And we look forward to celebrating all of your accomplishments that are still to come in the next year. A round of applause for our juniors. And finally, with the class of 2023, please stand again. <laughs> Seniors, we are proud of you. You have led our student body and improved our school over your time here at Concordia, and we are so proud of you. We will miss you. We look forward to hearing about the positive youth impact you have on the world and the way you will change it. Thank you for all that you've done. Let's give our senior class a round of applause. <laughs> Seniors, I'd like you to stay standing as we conclude our ceremony today. We will conclude in just a moment. Please, Concordia student body, we will take a short break and begin our award ceremony should you stay where you are. But to our guests, our family members that are here, to our faculty, to our student body, and to you seniors, for the very last time, peace be with you. Again, we'll take a short break before the start of our awards ceremony. Um, we're going to allow our musicians to get changed really quick and everything. So please, if you're joining us for our awards ceremony, please just relax for a few moments. Students, please remain seated. And our awards ceremony will start very soon. Students, you can stand up and uh, stretch and, and talk to each other. Please just don't leave the room, students. 